Welcome to Chuck Builds. This is another video on the Rage Against the Garage Door Opener by Paul Whelans, the RAT GDO. Um, I've had a couple videos on why I chose this, how to set up your firmware, and then how to install it to different openers. And I'm gonna explain why I bought this for this RAM set gate. This is not meant to be for RAM set. RAM set does not, is not affiliated with LiftMaster Chamberlain Group. Um, but it did have a LiftMaster clicker that I use for all my other devices with a LiftMaster radio module that has a yellow learn button. So I thought I needed this until I dug in deeper and realized I didn't. I tried to use a Shelly and the Shelly could open and close it, but it was not getting good readings on the built-in limit switches. And that is because of a voltage difference, I believe. I ended up keeping the Rage Against the Garage Door Opener because it works great. It uses the built-in limit switches, great connectivity, and I already had it. I'm gonna show you how to set it up in case you happen to have a RAM set like this. So I first tried to use this Shelly One with a 24 volt converter and then use the switch here to read the closed position. Really couldn't get it to work reliably. I don't know if it was just a voltage issue or what I was doing wrong. I thought this would be the way to go instead of the Rage Against the Garage Door Opener, but I was wrong and this ended up being way easier. So tossing that aside, we've got our Rage Against the Garage Door Opener version 2.5i by Paul Wieland. I have a couple of videos about these. They're great. Um, is well worth the wait time and money, in my opinion. So what we'll be using today is some cut up Cat6 Ethernet cable that's solid core. And uh, I've got a couple of jumpers pre-made here. I'll be using this uh, micro USB cable and just a leftover USB wall wart here to power it. For the actual wiring of the Rage Against the Garage Door Opener, we're only gonna be using the red control to garage door opener, white ground to garage door opener, the open, close, and ground uh, limit switches over here for dry contacts. I don't have a wall button. I don't have an obstruction sensor and I'm gonna be using USB for power on this. We won't be using the 3.3 volt. So first up, I'm gonna take my orange wire here and we're gonna be just clicking on these buttons to, to open them up. I'm gonna put this in the red control and it gets grasped pretty well. And I'm gonna grab my white and orange stripe for the white ground for the button. On this side, I will be taking my white and brown for the say close position. I'll take my brown for the open position, and then I'll use green here for my ground. And that's pretty much all we're gonna have to do here for the wiring, so let's go plug it in. So to get inside, we're just gonna pull this cover off. Get that out of the way. Got a little plastic window in the front we're gonna pull off. And that pretty much gives us all the access we're gonna need. So I'm gonna talk about this for a second before we set it up. Up here, we have a strip of contacts that has wires underneath here. Um, and this connects to the LiftMaster radio down here. And that's what my clicker connects to, to use this opener. And that's why I thought I would need the Rage Against the Garage Door opener in the first place. But this is just dry contact. You could bridge it with this piece of metal or a screwdriver and it'll open the gate. I try to use these two limit switches. This one tells you when the gate is closed and this one tells you when the gate is open. And it's wired up here with the blue and the red. And you can see those here. This yellow up here in the uh, radio contact area comes down right here. And so when yellow and white are bridged, the gate will open. And then when red or blue are bridged with this white, you'll know it's open or closed. And coming around to the side here, you can see we have a wall outlet of 120 volt power. So I will just be running my USB through this little gasket here and then I'll be just plugging it in. And that's how I'll be powering the Rage Against the Garage Door Opener. So you wanna make sure of the power off right here, there's a switch. All right, to actually wire up the Rage Against the Garage Door Opener, all you're gonna need is a screwdriver. We're gonna be working with these terminals right down here. Again, yellow is the radio connectivity when paired with this white. When that circuit closes, it'll open and close the door. And then this red and blue, are associates these limit switches. Blue is closed, red is open with this leftmost white here. And that'll tell you, or tell the Rage Against the Garage door opener when it's open and closed. So starting with our ground in the bottom right-hand corner here, 
do this leftmost white wire and then we're just going to stick it up in there between the existing contact and the little plates tighten it down make sure it's in there good and then we'll move across to the closed which is blue stick it in there pretty good and tighten it down make sure it's not going anywhere and then last will be red for the brown and this is for the open on the rage against the garage door opener stick it up in there and tighten it down so next up we have our red two garage door opener and our white two garage door opener red is going to go where this yellow is and then i'm just going to kind of push this up in here so I'm gonna get this pushed up in here and then tighten it down. Make sure it's not going anywhere. And then lastly, this white comes over to the far most white, the common. And I'll just stick it up there and tighten it down. Make sure it's not going anywhere. And then we will take our USB and we will plug it in. We've got our blue light turned on. See it on my finger down there. I'm gonna make sure we're kind of out of the way here that's not in the way of any moving parts and that the wires aren't in any risk of shorting and they don't seem to be. We can try it out. So that's how you get your ram set gate opened with a RAT GDO Rage Against the Garage Door Opener. Um, it'll work for a lot of 24 volt systems, gates and garage doors. Um, this, all this is is a pretty basic 24 volt garage door system, uh, just going sideways instead of up and down. I think the Rage Against the Garage Door Opener is great for this. I like it more than the Shelly because I've got two limit switches instead of just the one. I'm sure there's other alternatives that are out there, but when I thought I needed it because of this clicker, I already had it and it's worked great. Um, this could work just as a very basic tutorial for a standard dry contact opener for the Rage Against the Garage Door Opener. And I do want to call out that I used the MQTT firmware and then in the drop down chose dry contact for the opener. I tried to use the ESP Home, had a little bit of trouble getting that set up and realized it's not really supporting dry contacts. I think it's in beta right now. Check out my channel if you're seeing this one for the first time. I have a video about why you would want the Rage Against the Garage Door Opener, how to install the firmware, and then a couple other ways to install it. If you have the MyQ Security Plus 2.0, I cover that in another video as well where you will not be using the dry contacts. Um, check out my channel. Thanks for watching and let me know if this worked for you. Thanks.